Welcome to this MECO graphics training video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Merimeco chart. A Merimeco is often described as a square pie chart, but more accurately, it's a series of 100% stacked bar charts where each bar has a variable width. While there are a variety of use cases for the Merimeco chart, it is most often used as a market map. The chart we're showing here is a market map of worldwide oil imports. You can see in this chart that Europe is the largest importer of oil, followed closely by the United States and China. And if we look more specifically at Europe, you can see that the former Soviet Union supplies 48% of the imports into Europe. Now I'm going to show you how to make this chart. We'll go to this empty slide. We'll select Meco Graphics in the PowerPoint menu, and we'll click on Merimeco in the Meco Graphics ribbon. That will insert a Merimeco chart and automatically open our Meco Graphics data editor. For this chart, I have my data in Excel. So I'm going to copy that data and paste it into the data sheet for the chart. As you can see, there's a lot going on in this chart and it's pretty hard to read. So let's do a couple of things to clean that up. You can see that there are a lot of very small series in the chart. So I'm going to select the bars and series icon in the Meco Graphics ribbon, and I'm going to create an other series. So I do that by clicking on Series, Options, and I'm going to hit the plus sign here and create a new series called Rest of World. This will allow me to group smaller series into one big series called Rest of World. Now I can do that by individually selecting the series that I want to include, or I can do it by setting a rule. In this case, I'm going to say anything smaller than 425 million barrels will be included in rest of the world. So if we click off, you can see that that's gone a long way towards cleaning up. Let's do a couple of more things to clean up this chart. Let's click on chart in the Meco Graphics ribbon. We'll click on the sort tab and let's sort our data in the chart. So I'd like for series, I'd like the biggest to be on the bottom so that it makes you focus on the largest source of oil imports. And for the bars, I like the biggest bar, the widest bar to be on the left. Now when I do that, you can see in the chart that rest of the world becomes my first bar. That's not really what I want. So I'm gonna go back in here and select a custom sort, click on the three dots, you can see rest of the world is shown first. I'm going to drag it to the bottom. So I want my regions that are individually the largest to appear in order and rest of the world to be last. And that's what I have. Let's do a couple more things to clean up this chart. First, let's reduce the margin so that we have a little more room for the chart. Let's show the percentage values inside each segment. So we do that by going to show labels. We're going to show values and names, and we're going to put in percent. Next, let's add an axis title. In this case, I need a x-axis title. So I'll click on axis in the Meco Graphics ribbon, and I can add an axis title. In this case, it'll be imports. It's in millions of barrels. I could have done that by right-clicking on the axis as well. Shut that down. You can see that we have that. Now this chart looks pretty good to me, but there's one thing I'd like to add to make it easy to focus my audience on the key message of the slide. I have, you can see I have the bar totals on the slide and the grand total, so my audience can figure out how big Europe is, a percent of the total, but I'm going to make it easier for them to do that by adding a data row to my chart. So let me show you how I'm going to do that. If I click on chart data to open the data editor, I'm going to add two rows. One is called total, and one is called percent of total. And I'm just going to do the calculations right here rather than going back to Excel. And I'm going to sum up the column for each one of my regions. So there I have the US, and I'm just going to stretch this formula all the way over. And then I'm also going to add a grand total here. And now I'm going to create 
what I'm going to use for a data row, which is percent of total. So I will divide the region by the grand total. And if I add a dollar sign in front of that, when I stretch that amount, that formula, it will correctly calculate that for all of my columns. Now I need to tell Micrographics what to do with this information. So I need to tell it that I don't want the, the row total to appear on my chart. I'm doing that by right clicking. I don't want percent of total to appear on the chart, but I do want it to be a data row. And I like to format that data row as a percentage. So if I close my chart down, you can see that I've added a data row. I'm going to just expand this a little bit so you can see the axis title. You can see that I've added a data row that makes it clear that Europe is the largest individual region for imports, but it only represents 22% of the total. Thank you for watching this Mecho Graphics training video. To see more videos, please visit our website.